The saddest and darkest ending of Meghan. Queen secretly crowned Kate Middleton ultimate influencer. The Queen has been compared to a modern-day ultimate influencer despite Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, and Meghan Markle's social media success. Andrea Leadsom, the former leader of the House of Commons, was speaking at the Cambridge Union last night, Thursday, in a debate on whether the UK should be a monarchy or a republic. There she lauded the economic and geopolitical benefits the monarchy gives the UK and talked about the political stability the Queen has brought the country during her 70-year reign. Speaking in favour of retaining the monarchy alongside Jacob Rees-Mogg, the current leader of the Commons, Ms Leadsom joked, in this age of social media you could even call the Queen the ultimate influencer, I wouldn't dream of doing so. Jacob probably wouldn't like it. In fact, Jacob probably wouldn't know what that was. She argued that the reason the UK was ranked number three in the world in terms of soft power was because of the influence of the monarchy. Ms. Leadsom also claimed that companies which bore the royal warrant saw a 10% increase in sales as a result. She added, popular culture today suggests that all politicians, all elected people, whoever they are, are somehow corrupt and in it for themselves. Whether true or not, mostly not, I can assure you, nevertheless that lends itself to the strong case for the relative incorruptibility and independence of a hereditary structure. Making reference to her Platinum Jubilee, celebrated on Sunday, Ms. Leadsom said, during her 70 years on the throne, Queen Elizabeth II has counselled 14 Prime Ministers of all parties, and her continuity of experience and wisdom has been explicitly lauded by all those Prime Ministers. The Queen was raised as a public servant, she knew from the age of 10, when King Edward abdicated, what her destiny and duty would be. Darren Grimes, a pro-Brexit commentator and proposition speaker for the debate, said during his speech, thank God that she has dedicated her life to this country and its people. He added that the monarchy should stay because it stands, and I can tell this is going to get groans already, it stands as the embodiment of our nation, and it stands as that ancient symbol of continuity. He told the student audience, I think that we must jealously guard what we have right now, and I'll tell you why. I think the unifying force of Her Majesty the Queen could never ever hope to be replicated by a figurehead president. Before she married Prince Harry, Meghan Markle had a hugely successful lifestyle blog called The Tig, and in one post in 2014, she wrote about her future sister-in-law Kate Middleton. Meghan Markle's pre-royal life not only saw her become a successful actress on hit TV show Suits, but a highly regarded blogger too. Her popular lifestyle blog The Tig is where she would post her innermost thoughts, fun photos, favorite hacks and delicious recipes. She shut down the site in 2017, just months before her engagement to Prince Harry was announced, although snippets from the blog still exist online. And one of them shows that in a bizarre twist of a fate, Meghan once blogged about the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's wedding, before she even met Harry. It came in 2014, four years before her own royal wedding to Harry. She wrote about the pomp surrounding Kate and William's 2011 wedding and how she grew up dreaming of becoming a princess. Her post said, Little girls dream of being princesses. I, for one, was all about she princess of power. For those of you unfamiliar with the 80s cartoon reference, she is the twin sister of He-Man and a sword-wielding royal rebel known for her strength. We're definitely not talking about Cinderella here. Grown women seem to retain this childhood fantasy. Just look at the pomp and circumstance surrounding the royal wedding and endless conversation about Princess Kate. Last month it was reported that Meghan could be set to relaunch the TIG after applying to reactivate the trademark name.